Good morning, my YouTube channel. It's me, Tony, back here with a channel tarot message for you guys. Welcome to Emperor's Light for the newcomers. Like the video, subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. And for the returning subscribers, you know what we get in on this channel. We get into love messages. Let's see how you and your person uh, are connecting at this time energetically in regards to love and romance. What they want to communicate to the cardomancy. So we're going to be trying to tra channel your person's feelings or their thoughts. What they feel and how they, how they feel about this connection. Thoughts and the emotions that they may want to communicate to you. They possibly have been hiding or not knowing how to relay them to you. They'll be using me as a divine channel. A vessel of the highest messages of love and light today. Let's get into it. So whether you're in a relationship or single, let's catch the vibes. Messages for a collective today. What do our watchers need to know in regards to love and romance? How their person uh, wanting to communicate with them at this time? What's the channel messages? All right, we have a few. That's too many. We do have the Ten of Wands, Burdens. It reminds me of distance. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if you guys, uh, if there's distance between you guys, or you guys live far apart. This could be some sort of a spiritual or sexual burden that's between you guys. The Four of Pentacles. Trying to maintain control. Typically seen as like miserly, stingy, a saver. Uh, I view it as like... Um, Someone that's um, that invests in themselves, right? Because when you're not investing, you're, when you're not in, when you're not spending, right? In terms of like capital, you're basically saving that money up. So you're, it's almost like not not necessarily putting it into a stock market or putting it into a savings account or something that incurs interest. But I mean, yeah, you're not spending, so you're saving. What's the romantic message? Any more jumpers? Two, two, two on a timer. How is your person wanting to collaborate with you energetically? What are they wanting you to know in regards to love and romance? What's on their thoughts? Let's try this. There we go. The Hermit. Yeah, exactly. That four people's energy. The Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo or someone with um, Virgo-like qualities. Maybe they're very shy. Maybe they're very reserved. Not necessarily. They could be a deep or critical thinker. They could be going through a period of solitude, self-development, or introspection. Maybe even some sort of a spiritual awakening. They could be working on their finances or abstinence. Mm -hmm. isn't, it, isn't it funny, right? <laughs> Sometimes people realize they need to detox. Four of Swords. Yeah, rejuvenation. Detoxing. Sleep. Rest. Relaxing. Taking a day off. The Hermit is known as an overthinker. And, um, I mean, in general, uh, Virgo rules the, uh, the digestive system, which is actually connected, as above, so below, with uh, our thoughts, right? Nervousness can affect your health, right? Not only the things that we eat, but nervousness can affect your health as well. Your fifth card is the Empress. Ooh, yeah nourishment right your body's a temple your body's a garden whatever you put in your body your skin your cells your eyes your hair whatever you put in your body that's what your body uses to create you right remember we start out as babies and our our skin grows it stretches our bones grow right they become stronger you develop even personality as a person depending on the things that you eat right the places that you frequent your immediate surroundings right? it's transmutation it's the human condition is what I'm getting, right? And empress should, empresses should definitely take very good care of themselves. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo or Taurus. This may be an overworker as well, Capricorn. There's a Libra energy as well here with the Empress. So what is your person wanting you to know at this time? Now that we have the first five cards out. They could possibly want some alone time with you here. Yeah, Ten of Wands, Distance, Burdens. 
could be like some sort of a sexual frustration here. Or maybe they're moving here. Maybe they want to move in with you. Yeah, they wanted to invest here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four, four. This grounding energy. Stability and balance. The hermit. It's like a long time they wanted to get with you. Or they wanted to learn more about you here. I think they view themselves. You guys may be teaching each other. Yeah, I'm getting like a mirroring energy. I think they feel that... Um, they can learn more about themselves about learning um, through learning about you or something like that or maybe they want you to get to know them more and then um, the Empress here they view you as um, it's coming off to me as wish fulfillment but yeah they see you as their Empress they could be in their Empress bag as well right now mm -hmm. I'm, they're, they wanted to show off, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm, you know what I'm getting, and this is irrelevant because they're going through a breakup right now. I'm getting that Offset and Cardi B relationship. Right? Be careful what you wish for, and you know, don't you don't have to be spiteful when when people treat you bad. You don't have to be spiteful. Like be honest with people. Like sometimes people, it's like a bad child, right? We think we need to spank that child because you know. They're being bad. But sometimes you just need to ignore people. Okay. I don't know. I don't know who that message was for. Let's see. Let's clarify the ten of wands. This distant sexual frustration. This is a high spiritual connection as well. The king of wands. Yeah. Someone very powerful. A leader. A strategist. This could be a content creator. Yeah. Someone very sexual. Yeah. It's giving off Cardi B vibes. But this is a masculine. A king. So yeah, um, an influencer is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. The law of attraction, right? The the king and queen of wands. They work with the law of attraction. Yeah, coming out on top of the ten of wands. Again, a travel um, movement. Uh, this could even be uh, delegating as well. Um, we may even be dealing with a ritual as well. But yeah, this is a lot of strong energy coming off this. Yeah, I think your person. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of um, sacral chakra energy um, that your person is wanting to communicate with you here. If you catch my drift, they could possibly be wanting to get cre very creative with you. Let's clarify the four pinnacles, the chariot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm getting like. Um, the old American dream, the house with the white picket fence and the car, possibly even two cars in the driveway. But yeah, they wanted to connect with you here. Mm -hmm. Two individuals pulling this, this empress, basically. They think that you guys have something that um, this person could symbolize your, your purpose for being with each other. Right? I don't know, maybe it's a family or a business that you guys are building. But yeah, if you guys are in separation, they wanted to, they wanted to end the separation, right? I don't know if this is you, know, you guys are just starting to date or just starting to get with each other. Um, for some of you guys, it's possibly like a, a, a hold off or a breakup or a, a pause in the relationship here, having to rethink things. Mm -hmm. Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Hermit here. Yeah, something about the home life, Ten of Wands. So what is your person wanting you to know? I don't know, maybe you guys are having a home built here channel message. You hear that hammering in the background? It's like, yeah, I know you're busy. I know you're doing this, but we need to talk about the renovations that's going on in this house. The improvements that we need or the lack of, right? I know you're busy and you want to avoid what's going on here, but we need to talk about... Um, selling this house <laughs> whatever the case may be I think it's more positive than negative though if you're going through a relationship uh, hazard or um, situation you might want to work on things before you think about ending things here because it's hard to find another empress let's see clarify the hermit Nine of Swords, nervousness. Yeah, like I said, right? You'll be looking for days. Sleeplessness, toxicity, right? 
I talked about this before. Men, men don't really like when men break up. We don't immediately feel it, right? Until you end up tossing and turning at the middle of the night because what you lost your rib. Right? A jump off doesn't hit the same as a wife, right? Whoever told you that the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else doesn't care about you. That's not that's not how you get over somebody by just having random sex. That's the weirdest thing I ever heard a woman say. Like, who, what woman or what whore told you that the best way to get over someone that you love is to get under someone that you don't love? <laughs> and then the crazy part is they, they break up just to get with another stranger that doesn't know them, that hasn't put in that five, ten years, built the life, built the family. Like, you're going to get go to another cheater anyway. So you're going to get cheated on by someone that doesn't know you. Does that make you feel better? Okay. What's the connection here? What is your person wanting you to know? What's the romantic attachment here? I'm not sure who this is. Four of Cups. Yeah, more grounded energy. We just did a reading. I just did a reading like 10 minutes ago. Mm, that in the 444 synchronicity popped up. And only this time, there's no Four of Wands here. But we have the Four of Cups distractions. Missed opportunity. Coming down on top of the Four of Swords. Meditation. Right, again, needing to think about this. Hermiting oneself. Right. Being a critical thinker, like how is this really going to affect you here? Let's clarify the Empress, the Tower card. There's a download, yeah. Mm -hmm. This could be affecting someone's confidence here, or someone's confidence could be affected by separation, is what I'm getting. Because I, I'm not, I don't think I'm trying to avoid this breakup energy here. Again, it's just like it's like a pause or um, time apart here. It could literally be driving your person up the wall, right? Definitely getting sexual, right? I mean, if you're used to being all up on each other all the time, and then even Scorpio, it's uh, or Tower, it's Scorpio, right? A man needs his his queen, right? His trophy, his muse. A woman needs her rock, right? Her standard, her protector, her guardian, right? We talk about Rapunzel being all the way at the top of the tower, right? Being guarded by a dragon, right? <laughs> and then the prince has to come and slay the dragon and free the empress or the queen, right? <laughs> so that they can take this action forward here, right? The dragon can symbolize um, negativity, toxicity, right? Um whatever the negativity is in a relationship the distracting force nine of swords four of cups the tower moment let's clarify the king of wands the king of cups forgiveness yeah what's the knight of cups i don't know why i thought the king romance romance coming towards you a love offer mm. Chemistry, you know what I'm getting in my head? <laughs> I'm getting, and it's coming off to me. I don't know why it's coming off to me in the voice of Cardi B. <laughs> but I've heard women say this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. You rarely hear dudes say this because they don't really put themselves out emotionally like that. But yes, what I'm getting in my head is I don't care what you're doing out there. You better bring your ass home. I got needs. <laughs> so someone has needs. Yeah, so the message that I'm getting here so far in the reading is that, and this is for all of you guys, no matter what the situation is, you're, if um, the person that you're dating, they have a, they, uh, they want to develop this um, sexual link with you here. Hmm. It's given off, you better take care of home first before you go out and do anything else, right? I had an older dude tell me that before right in his woman's face she's like he's like she already know what it is she know that i go out and do my thing but guess what home gets taken care of first which is still like a, a lackluster excuse for me it's like if you're not putting all of your attention into your home then you're just putting 75 percent 50 percent it's almost like a child that rushes through their chores so that they can go out and have fun right don't give me that lame ass excuse. As long as home is getting taken care of first, right? <laughs> Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. 
The Queen of Swords? Yeah. Libra energy. Mm -hmm. Counseling or um, independence here. Mm -hmm. hmm. It comes down on top of Chariot and Four of Pentacles. Deliberations, getting a second opinion. The Nine of Swords. Let's clarify the Nine of Swords on top of the Hermit. Mm. Someone's intuition is playing a big role here. Hierophant. Yep, a marriage. It's funny how the Hierophant comes out after the Queen of Swords. These are both um, an indication of marriage. Having some sort of an integrity as well. Teachers, deliberations, therapists. Yeah, religious and spiritual uh, matters as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's layers. Like if you're a person, they're obviously addicted to you physically. I'm guessing it is. If I can stop talking about sex so much, because they're definitely addicted to you sexually. Again, if this is a new relationship, you there and you guys. I don't know if you guys maybe been communicating online or you guys are some sort of a pen pals. They're wanting to bring this together here. This may even be like visiting each other as well as something like that, right? I, I've talked about this before, like as couples or as dating someone as an adult, right? Um, you spend time with each other when you guys have a chance to spend time with each other, whether that's on your days off or on your weekends, right? And then you go back to your damn house. That's also a way to avoid codependency, right? Um, you don't want to be with someone just because you need somewhere to stay or that person needs somewhere to stay or whatever the case is whatever it is that weird energy is where people feel like they have to be with each other or that they have to maintain relationships with each other that they have to be with each other out of survival or something like that All right let's clarify the four of cups and the four of swords the two of cups yep relationship soulmate energy togetherness gathering soul recognition missing here they're wanting to come out of this um, pause, this hang up. They don't want to miss this opportunity, right? It's almost like out of sight, out of mind when it comes to marriages and relationships and that sort of thing. Possibly even breakups. Yeah. You don't want your person to think that you don't need them anymore, right? I keep talking about this show, 90 Day Fiance. One of the dudes was like, and he's trying to be so masculine and so machismo and try to force this woman to... Um, be in a relationship with him like he really wanted to have a child with her and he's like oh go leave like i can get over you in two days and then when she left <laughs> this man was almost damn near heartbroken <laughs> right again men don't feel it immediately but let it linger in after a while then they start to feel it right there could be children involved in a situation as well this person may want to have a child with you here yeah, they could be on some sort of a timer. There's there's so many stories here. What do you guys wake up in the morning and, and just start? <laughs> you know, what is this, morning sex? Uh, Robin Thicke vibes? Let's clarify the tower and the empress. Yeah, the devil. That's exactly what you guys do. <laughs> Obsession and temptation. Yeah. An earthbound contract with the earthbound celebrity, right? Whoever you view as your person, whoever turns you on sexually here. Look what we have. The devil, the tower, and the empress. There's a lot of creativity here as well, though. There's a lot of growth, right? Going through tough cycles can uh, transform you into this, make you, make you into a better person. Again, you look back on the things that um, you, you realize what needs to be cherished here. I'm talking about a home wrecker, but think about people that wreck their own homes. Now that's an idiot. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. The moon. Secrets. Intuition. Fears. Possibly anxiety. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Temperance. Healing. Spiritual healing. Comes out on top of the Queen of Swords, a chariot, and a Four of Pentacles. Maybe you guys need to go on some sort of a healing retreat together or go to, go to some sort of a couples therapist here. How is your person viewing this? 
this is a marriage here or some sort of a religious connection the here find nine of swords in a hermit the wheel of fortune mm -hmm. so they don't want to miss out on this opportunity here this is luck karma universal projection as well spiritual guidance here i'm not sure if this is something that you guys can control here mm -hmm. you may have been brought together uh, 2020 by divine um, by higher power is that the message um hmm yeah i think that's the message the ace of cups new love coming towards you here or a cup overflowing Ace of Cups on top of the Two of Cups, Four of Cups, and the four, and the Four of Cups. Man. <laughs> yeah. There's love in this situation. Yeah. It reminds me of that, that show, um, Married with Children, right? Everyone has their relationship problems, right? We may even get bored, right? <laughs> Women love changes of scenery, right? And it's definitely encumbered upon them to be able to reinvent themselves so that they do don't get bored with them either, right? Let's clarify the devil. The high priestess. Spiritual connection. Yeah, you can have a spiritual connection with someone. I'm not sure if someone's trying to use religion or spirituality or trying to guilt trip someone about marriage here. I mean, you have to take the creation of a dynasty very serious. You know, that that's something very serious. So the high priestess, the devil, the tower, and the empress, all major arcana here in this row. Hmm. Let's clarify the moon. Three of pentacles, yeah. You work with this person or in the same industry with this person. Collaboration, they see you as like an, uh, a prodigy or uh, you have great potential here. Again, you guys may have children with each other here. Yeah. Again, and like, you think you're gonna leave this house? You better, you better help me raise this family is what I'm getting. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. On top of Temperance, Queen of Swords, Chariot, and Four of Pentacles. This is a, this is a specific message for someone. I mean, going back to earlier in the reading, I think your person, again, even if you're just starting this relationship, this person is going to close the gap and close the distance here. Like, even if, if you say so, they're going to come towards you here, Chariot. They're going to come charging towards you if you're at some sort of a distance. And others, if you're already in a relationship, um, your person, they respect you enough to give you time to let you... Do whatever you need to do. If I don't know if you're going through a midlife crisis, a dude is going through a midlife crisis, right? He'd rather spend more time with his sports cars or be on South Beach frolicking rather than being at home. She's like, okay, I understand, nigga. Bring your ass back home, though. <laughs> Sorry for using the N-word. But, yeah, I'm channeling someone here. The Wheel of Fortune, which is my marriage ring card, and comes out right on top of her font marriage right um an anointed a person or an anointed relationship this could be a um what do you call those people a notary nine of swords and a hermit here the strength card so strength beauty mm -hmm. dna integrity bravery could be dealing with a leo this lion looks like he has dreads <laughs> spiritual connection here very powerful deep connection here it's like you don't want to end these things you don't just want to throw these things away it's like it's like lost and found like you're lucky if like when you lose your car keys your wallet or your phone you're lucky like you would hope that it ends up in lost and found again you can't when, when a woman or whatever the situation is if you lose a king it's hard to find another king because all we got out here is a bunch of pages and knights Right? <laughs> or queen because all we have out here is a bunch of thoughts and whores <laughs> yeah so ace of cups let's go ahead and clarify this here the queen of cups 
she showed up in the pre-shuffle before I even started recording, but isn't she lovely? <laughs> yeah. Divine feminine energy definitely showing up in the reading. Mm -hmm. You got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Very thoughtful and very uh, emotional. Strong communicator, singer or dancer. A powerful muse. Very empathetic, very understanding, a healer. Last message. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, the first card out was the Ten of Wands. The last card out is the Nine of Wands. They wanted to, whatever this distance is, whether it's spiritual or literally physical, because you can live in the same house or even be in the same room with someone and feel distant from them, right? But yeah, there's a lot of sexual frustration here. Um, I'm not sure what the live-in or moving situation is here. Let's look at the bottom five. With the king of swords yeah with the queen of swords here so divine counterparts you guys need to communicate more i mean you're very strong people right you could be uh, authors or poets or whatever the case may be or maybe very detail oriented people the king of swords the two of pentacles eight of swords the world and the ace of swords two of swords indecision and you just needed to make a decision here yeah. it's like calling a timeout during the finals is what I'm getting here. Mm. But yeah, I'm basically juggling, trying to maintain balance, constantly thinking about this. Could be communicating online, Eight of Swords, the World card, Ace of Swords, a breath of fresh air. Yeah, it'll be a breath of fresh air for your person to have a conversation with you or to get this union off the ground or end this silence or this breakup or this pause, or whatever this is. It's a distraction. Again, you don't want to give people time enough to fall out of love with you. Then you have something to complain about. So that is what I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading. Mm, just some things that your person wants to get off their mind here. Mm -hmm. They want to end this separation. If this is a marriage or if you guys are already in union. And again, if this is something new. They're wanting that closeness. They're ready for that closeness. They're ready to start investing in this relationship. Mm -hmm. Four of Cups. Yeah, they're ready to come out of this um, meditative state of mind. They're wanting their, to make their presence known. Marriage, possibly. Yeah, they have a lot to tell you. And I think they want to tell you face-to-face. 27-27. -face. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the message. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.